morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Arizona Dreams. Today we're in Flagstaff, Arizona, which is about two and a half to three hours north of uh, the Phoenix Valley area, depending on where you're at, add or subtract. Um, Flagstaff's located up in what are known as the Pines of Arizona, so there's a lot of pine trees. As you can see, we're already in Flagstaff. We're actually in what I would consider downtown Flagstaff. Uh, it's about 7,000 foot of elevation, so um, there's going to be a very distinct weather change. It actually has four seasons here in Flagstaff, and it's typically about 20 degrees cooler than the valley. So, for instance, right now it's about uh, 70 degrees, give or take, and it's supposed to be a high in the low 80s. Back down in the valley, it's supposed to be close to 110. So, um, there's, there's your math there. We're going to drive by Northern Arizona University, home of the Lumberjacks. Um, it's a business school, and it's got a few other majors there. Uh, and it's a smaller school, but it is a state school. So we'll go there next. Uh, so uh, Flagstaff is on the base of the San Francisco Peaks. Uh, there's a dormant uh, volcano called Mount Eldon. And uh, the highest point in Arizona is also right here near Flagstaff. It's called uh, Mount Humphreys, Mount Humphreys Peak to be exact. And that's the highest point at 12,000 plus uh, feet, 4,633, I think, is the reported amount. Uh, it sits off of I-17 and I-40 if you're wondering how to get here. Uh, so depending on where you're coming from, that's that's where you want to look for. And uh, I-17 is really the major interstate that goes from north to south through Arizona. And really, uh, without using back roads, the only way to get up towards the Grand Canyon and Flagstaff and Winslow and Will Williams and all those areas. Uh, from the valley, unless you go back routes, and you can, uh, for sure. It's 80 miles south of the Grand Canyon. It's the county seat for Cocatino, Cocatino I'm probably saying that wrong, uh, county. Turn here. So up ahead of us, uh, if you can see it up there on the skyline, there's a big white thing. I'm pretty sure that that is Lowell Observatory. And why am I mentioning Lowell Observatory? Well, Lowell Observatory is ca cause for celebration and now heartache thanks to the federal government um, because that's where Pluto was discovered and was called a planet. But as you guys are probably aware, Pluto is now not considered a planet. So a source of the celebration and heartbreak for Flagstaff. It's a, a pretty neat observatory, and I'm pretty certain they actually do uh, tours and it's open. Uh, so there you see the sign, Lowell Observatory. It's not a through street, so I'm going to turn around. But uh, Lowell Observatory was one that I wanted to make sure you guys saw because that is something that put Flagstaff internationally on the map uh, because of Pluto. I drive. All right, so this is uh, the beginning of NAU's campus. Again, it's, it's a state school, um, not nearly as big as uh, Arizona or Arizona State. Arizona is in Tucson, Arizona State, in Tempe, Arizona. Um, but uh, they do get to play those teams here, uh, and there's a lot of pride in this little university. Uh, so right now we're driving through some of the areas that I would consider off-campus housing, so, you know, homes that uh, students can rent. But this is it, this is the campus here. Uh, I have no idea what building this is. But it's a pretty little campus. And again, it's not it's not huge. There's a, a, it's like a fraternity house maybe. Uh, Alpha. Oh, it's a Christian fellowship. Okay. Uh, so that's for the university. Looks like there's a tennis tennis here, so that's probably a sports complex. Uh, just know that there's some housing over there. Uh, this is biological science building, because I can read a sign. Uh, but n a neat little campus, uh, and certainly an option uh, that you can be proud of. South Beaver School uh, says program intensive English, so that looks like an older building too, which is kind of cool. 
uh, roll if we need one more shot just so we can try to get a little more. All right, so on my right, you see the Northern Arizona University sign. Uh, on my left, there's a blue sign telling me what's all coming up. Lumberjack Stadium. Looks like there's some more housing or something over there. Campus map. Um, but looks like probably a pretty easy campus to navigate. Aquatic and tennis complex, which we saw the other side of, is that building there. Um, and then the Health and Learning Center over here, that makes sense. Restaurant management, so apparently that's one of their majors, hotel and restaurant management. So, uh, as I started to say, Coconino Valley uh, County is the second largest county by area in the United States. Uh, it has 11 million, almost 12 million, so 11 million 896 thousand and change uh, in acreage. So this county is huge. Um, the cool thing about Flagstaff is the humidity is fairly low um, and this, it produces a nice clear air and fairly mild weather. Now they do get a lot of snow. They get about 108 inches of snow on average. But remember we're 7,000 feet uh, of elevation so that would make sense that um, they'd get a lot of snow just because they're up in the mountains. I'm not sure what this big building is, but I'm, I'm guessing it's some kind of stadium. Well, this is the stadium, uh, Sky Dome. And I mentioned that uh, they're known as the Lumberjacks. There's their mascot, a the nice big Paul Bunyan looking lumberjack. All right. So, again, you know, cool little stadium, kind of looks like a big dome. Pretty neat. So you get this beautiful scenery in Flagstaff. You also get 288 days of sunshine per year on average in Flagstaff. So I told you they get 108 uh, inches of snowfall, but you're still getting a lot of sun. And uh, you need to be aware of that because you know if you're coming up from the valley, you think, oh, well, it's not that hot. I can run around and get a little crazy. You still need to wear sunscreen because you can still get a sunburn here because they are getting the sun coming through even on overcast days.